n is a natural number and n plus 2 into n plus 4 is odd lovely n is a natural number n plus 2 into n plus 4 is odd straight away I, I get, you have to make a very good simple inference with this product of two numbers is odd both of them have to be odd n is a natural number n plus 2 n plus 4 is odd i think the first statement is an elaborate way of saying n is odd this first statement gives us this inference n plus 2 into n plus 4 is odd n plus 2 n plus 4 are both odd if n plus 2 is odd then n is odd the first statement is an elaborate way of saying n is an odd number then the biggest power of 2 that divides n plus 1 into n plus 3 for any n is and when i first did this question i didn't see this for any n and i got confused and so i thought why wow, wow it can be anything it can be a very large uh, power for any n Okay. Let's bring back this. n plus 1 has to be an even number. n plus 3 has to be an even number. We are multiplying two even numbers. Even number is automatically a multiple of 2. Two multiples of 2 if you multiply. There's a 2 coming from this number. There's a 2 coming from this number. It will definitely be a 4. So 2 square divides this number. I went that far. So life is easy. 2 square. Obviously, they are in the choices. But then I said, look, let me just verify this. Right? So let's verify that. Right? n plus 1 into n plus 3. n is a natural number. n could be 1. If we know n is odd, n could be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. n plus 1 into n plus 3 is 2 into 4 or 4 into 6 or 6 into 8 or 8 into 10, 10 into 12, 12 into 14, etc. etc. 2 into 4 is 8, 4 into 6 is 24, 6 into 8 is 48, 80, 120, some large number. And all of these are multiples of 4. That was obvious. Right? Our question is not to prove that it is an even number. It is an even number. It's the product of two even numbers. Our challenge is not to prove it is a multiple of 4. Two even numbers, you multiply, you will get a multiple of 4. These are not just two even numbers. They are two consecutive even numbers. Think about this. 2 into 4, 4 into 6, this is a multiple of 4, 4, 4, that is obvious. But this 8, this has an 8 in it. This, this has a 16 in it. This has 16 in it. This has 8 in it. Are def All of these are multiples of 8 also. Right? But this is not a multiple of 16. This is not a multiple of 16. So we cannot say for sure that 2 power 4 divides this number. So we can eliminate this. This we have in the back. 2 square is guaranteed. Now we have to see if we can prove that 2 cube definitely divides this number. Now think about it. You have any two consecutive even numbers. Then one of those always has to be a multiple of 4. 2 and 4, 4 is a multiple. 4 is a multiple of 4. 4 and 6, this is a multiple of 4. 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 So any two consecutive even numbers, one of those always has to be a multiple of 4. If you multiply two consecutive even numbers, there will be one multiple of 2, one multiple of 4, or the product will be a multiple of 8. The other way of thinking about it, you think about two consecutive even numbers, 2 into 4. This is an even number, this is an even number. We can write this as 2 into 1, this is 2 into 2. Or if you take out a 2 and a 2, the remaining part will be two consecutive integers. This is 2 into 1, 2 into 2. It will be 2 into 2, 2 into 3. 2 into 3, 2 into 4. This 2 and this 2 you take out. After that, there will be two consecutive integers. Two consecutive integers, one of them has to be an even number or there comes a third 2 in the picture. Or any time you multiply two consecutive even numbers, the product will always be a multiple of 8 or it will always be a multiple of 2 cube. 